Um, all right, so 5.4 part two, more sums, more differences. So the first part of this, working backwards, given the resulting sum or difference, find the original angle. Identify what is going on and then use this to plug back in to get the original value. So if we're looking at that, cosine 6v, cosine negative 4v, plus sine 6v, sine negative 4v. From the other day, you just have to figure out which function it is, sine, cosine, or tangent, and then what the signs indicate for us. So in other words, this one has the cosines and the sines together. That tells me it originally started as a cosine problem. Remember with cosine, it's the opposite sign of the original and the products. All right? All right. And it's the product of the individual thing. So that means I'm doing something with 6v and negative 4v. Well, with cosine, it's always the opposite, so I subtract. So the math I would do is 6v minus negative 4v, which turns into 6 plus 4v. 6 plus 4 is 10. So that tells me that's going to be cosine 10v. When I look at the second one, I got a sine being multiplied by the cosine, cosine being multiplied by the sine. That tells me it's the sine. And with the sine formula, it's always the same sign as the middle, which means I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to do negative 2 minus 5. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. So that tells me my answer would be sine of negative 7 theta. The last one has tangents, so the original problem needed to be tangents. The sign between the two angles is always the same as the numerator. Since the numerator says plus, I'm going to add them. 5 plus 2 gives me 7. So that would indicate my three answers would be cosine of 10v, sine of negative 7 theta, tangent of 7 v. All right, so basically I'm just working back. So if we would, please use the same idea to work on the ones underneath. So you're working on the ones underneath. The first one multiplies the cosines and the sines together, so that means it must be a cosine, and it's the opposite of the sine in between them. 
So that's going to give us cosine of negative u. The second one is tangent, so it's got to be tangent. It's the same sign as the numerator, which is subtraction. 3v minus negative 6v turns into 3v plus 6v, which is 9v. And then finally, sine, cosine, cosine, sine tells me it is sine. All right. And if we add those together, we're going to end up with a sine of 6v. Okay. Next up, second and final part of today's lesson, proving and simplifying expressions. You will utilize the sum and different formulas to either prove an identity or simplify an expression. You will find things will cancel either by multiplying by one, adding zero, for example, also multiplying by zero so that the results match up with what we're trying to justify. We got it. All right. All right, so for example, when it asks you to prove, so it asks you to prove cosine pi over 2 minus x equals sine x. That's a co-function. Whenever it's pi 2 minus x, you're either adding or subtracting the co. So now you're just trying to justify it. So the answer isn't as important as the step. So basically what you have to look at is go, how do I use the different formulas to set it up? So this is a subtraction, and it's a cosine. So it's the product of the cosines of the two figures, the product of the signs of the two values, and then the opposite of the sign in between them. So since this is a minus, I'm going to have a plus sign between them. So when I set it up, it's going to look something like that. So it's sine pi over 2 cosine x plus sine pi over 2 sine x. All right, so with cosine, the cosines stay together, sines stay together, and the sine SIG in between them is the opposite of what the original problem was. Yes, sir. Eventually, yeah. And we're going to show you how. So in other words, what you're showing is the steps to justify that. So in other words, you have to remember the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Okay? All right. You have to remember that the sine of pi over 2 is 1. So in other words, on the quiz, you know how on uh, yesterday's quiz you guys show like intermediate steps? Same idea. So you, the question one is going to be, you know, question is going to be, Johan was asked to prove cosine pi over 2 minus x equals sine x. And then it's going to say part A, use different formulas to show how you would set it up. And then part B might be the cosine of pi over 2 is blank. The sine of pi over 2 is blank. So you got to fill those in. And then the question three would be as a result, it would, what would be the result? And then you'd have to give your answer, which is sine of that. You know what I mean? To show those steps in between. You will be taking that last quiz a week from Monday, not this Monday coming up. You will take it in class, but to make it fair to the people who are at home, you will have everything available to you that you would have at home. 
So feel free to bring a book. Feel free to bring a notebook. Feel free to bring a calculator. Feel free to bring a phone. Feel free to bring anything you want that you would normally have at home when you put this. Make it fair and equitable for everybody else. But you will take it on that Monday before we leave. It covers 5-4 and 5-5. So we'll finish 5-4 on Friday. All right. And we'll do 5-5 next week. And then we'll take it to the phone. Okay. All right. Pretty good. So, prove, not prove, but simplify. So now they're not telling you what it should be. So simplify the expression cosine theta minus 3 pi over 2. This setup is going to be the same. Since it's a minus, we're going to find the products of their cosines and add to that the product of their sine. So it would look like that. Cosine theta, cosine 3 pi over 2, plus sine theta, sine 3 pi over 2. You have to then remember that the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. You have to remember the sine of 3 pi over 2 is not 1, but negative 1. When you do these over the next couple days for homework, I need to just see that part. If you can do this part in your head, feel free. But in terms of show and work, I just need to see that part. Zero times anything is simply going to wipe this uh, here, and anything times a negative just switches the sign. So that gives us the result of negative sign theta. So when it says to simplify, the main thing is your answer should be small. All right, so the differences here is they're not going to tell you what it should be. All right, and then simplifying the expression tangent of theta plus 3 pi. All right, you have to remember that the sum of tangents is the sum of their individual tangents over 1 minus the product of their tangents. If instead of a plus, this was a minus, then the minus would be up there and the plus would be up there. All right, theta is a variable, so tangent theta is going to stay exactly the same. You have to remember what the value of tangent of 3 pi is. Coterminal an angles, 3 pi is the same thing as pi. You have to remember that tangent is y over x. And that pi, y is 0. So anything that has a tangent of 3 pi would become 0. As a result, it would be rewritten tangent theta plus 0 over 1 minus tangent theta times 0. Anything adding 0 stays exactly the same. So you got tangent of theta. 1 minus anything that's multiplied by 0 just becomes 1. And when we divide by 1, you stay, you stay exactly the same. And that's it. This assignment is due Friday at midnight. All right, the top six, you don't have to show any work. You just have to work backwards and tell me what it would be. Seven through 12, this is the work you're showing me. So at the very least, you should be setting up something like that. And then if you want to write your answer, that's perfectly fine. If you want to show these intermediate steps, feel free. That way you have it as a reference for when you come in and take your quiz. All right, so what's going to happen tomorrow is tomorrow. Because it's, this was a half day, it's a short lesson. We're going to go through this again, and then we're going to do the next lesson. 
So if you want to get a head start on that, which is solving equations, either join the live stream or watch the video. Then on Friday when you come in, if you did that, you'll have the assignment in front of you. It's your period to work on whatever you want. All right. If you want to pay attention to the lesson again, then you can. I'm going to redo the second part of the lesson, which is solving equations again on Friday. So it's your choice on what you want to do. But both assignments will be due on Friday. Okay, so the one you get Friday when we go through it, what we do Friday at noon. Make sense? Okay. So it's your call on what you want to do. So tomorrow, if you join, you can get a jump start on that. I'll also be after tomorrow virtually for uh, 